What's up guys, Sons of Liberty Dippers here. I'm Hunter. I'm Adam. And today, oh boy, we got some stories, we got some info, we got some bow reviews. We apologize for not making a video in quite a bit, but as many of you know, it's hunting season, steelhead season. We got a story about steelhead. <laughs> and we got some dip mail today from Copenhagen. So uh, today, I'm going to be dipping some Stoker's Mint, because I'm on a mint kick right now, and God knows, we don't have Copenhagen Mint up here, because Copen oh, Copenhagen Mint will be in Canada. I went to Canada, by the way, to get Copenhagen Mint. One can in Canada, $21. $21 for one can. Fucking robbery. I love America, but I hate Copenhagen right now. Because they don't have Copenhagen Mink in New York. My rant is over. What are you dipping today? Some Skull Citrus. I don't know why I'm dipping this. Because it's just that kind of a kick right now. And pass all Tastes those. like freaking lemon lime fruit loops. With a little bit of spray for breeze on it. Yeah, well, you know, just got some updates. But the fruity kid likes it. Let's pack a shuffle up. Let's pack a shuffle up. Man, it's going to be an interesting video. Oh, it's going to be an interesting one. We got some ground to cover on here, but we covered a lot of ground <laughs> the other day. <laughs> You'll understand that joke in a minute. Yeah. Alright, what are you spitting in today? You mud jug forgetting motherfucker. Alright, let's start off this, this video with some uh, updates. Uh, like Hunter said before, it's hunting season up here, bow season in New York. Um, it's been very quiet, like seeing deer wise, but very quiet. Um, steelhead has been very, very popular right now. You know, it's uh, very, I think it's probably more active than deer hunting this year. What do you think? Oh, yeah. The, well, it's not the right yet. It's not even, well, it's getting into the pre rut but, um... It's almost been one month since opening week, opening day, so... Yeah, um, thing that sucks is you, you see more deer crossing the road when you're driving more than you do out in the, out in the woods, so... It sucks, but that's usually how it is for most people. But, uh, yeah, it's bow season here in, uh, New York, so, um... Wh what are you shooting? What, what bow do you got? Um, this year I just switched to a new bow. Uh, I got myself a Hoyt Nitrum, 34 this year. Uh, great shooting bow. You got your six and three quarter inch brace height. Uh, 34 inches actually axle, obviously. This is the 60 to 70 pound version. I'm shooting maxly at 70 pounds. 20 inch, 28 inch draw length. Um, very, very good bow this year. Um, then since you're your Hoyt fan, um, Hoyt just came out with their new series of bows, but this was uh, very good. You got this E5 cam and a half on there. Um, right now, this IBO speed on this bow is 330 feet per second. Um, right now, I'm shooting with my hunting arrow about 285 with my hunting arrow. Um, you know, accessory wise, I got a fuse stabilizer on there. Um, not much of weight, it's just more to balance out the bow. Uh, QED drop away. Just, it's a very, very simple, best, almost one of the best drop I've shot in, in a while. Um, right now, this is, in a, this is a temporary site, just an old PSC site I had hanging around. Um, just two pins on it right now. Um, just what I have. Um, soon to upgrade to uh, probably a Spot Hog Fast Daddy site. Another new product by uh, Spot Hog, and um, that's my bow. What arrows are you shooting? I'm shooting Eastern Bowfires, uh, 400 grain spine, 100 grain field tips, but I shoot uh, 100 grain uh, Grim Reapers, 2 inch, over the top expandables. Great broad, haven't killed anything with it yet this year. It's, I'm testing them out this year. Um, 400 grain spine, I think, overall hunting weight of this with like veins. Oh shit! Dip, dip bottle, dip bottle down. <laughs> Overall weight with veins and ins and knocks and everything, I think it's right around 537 grains. Um, very good, 
good hunting arrow. Um, only 8.5 grains per inch. So if you're kind of going for that faster arrow that has the less grains per inch, this is definitely up your alley. But um, you know, if you want those heavier arrows, uh, the Easton uh, Axis arrows are really good, or um, Maximum Red arrows are really good. Um, you know, overall, I can't complain with my setup right now. Um, haven't actually killed deer with it yet. So hopefully I can get something with that. Um, if you want to know any more information about my bow, just comment below and I will uh, let you know anything about it. What are you shooting this year, buddy? Before I get to my bow, if you need any more information on the bow, he's pretty much fucking writing a book. He's got that much information on the goddamn bow. Me, I'm just going to be short and to the point. Unlike you, I'm shooting a bear archery bow today. This year I got the uh, bear archery Agenda 6. 6 inch brace height. 32 inch axle to axle, 350 feet per second maximum. But that's what you're getting with your 6 inch brace height though, that's why. Doesn't matter, 350 feet per second, <laughs> go fuck yourself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got a Cypher 5, 5 pin uh, trophy ridge sight, the um, trophy taker XFC drop away. Uh, I don't use a stabilizer, I, I haven't found... The stabilizer that he has on his bow is um, definitely very lightweight, and I shot it on my bow. It's a good good uh, stabilizer, but I just haven't found the right stabilizer yet. That one might be it. i got to shoot with it more. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, for my first bow, I mean, I know you've had a couple bows, if not more than a couple, and uh, this was my first bow, and... It does the job well. I mean, haven't killed a deer with it, but when I do, we, we'll make a video of it. And uh, it's got the um, bear archery grips. Not as nice as the wood grips as Hoyt, which, um, yeah, I, I like the wood grips. But um, anyway, I shoot um, Easton FMJ arrows. 400 grain, and uh, these things just freaking zip out of that bow. I'm using the um, NAP quick spin quick fletches on here. These I was using the NAP um, quick fletch twisters and with these um, quick spins they have a little bit of a tab on them so you get a little bit more of a, the quick spin on it. There's a little bit more weight to it and uh, I get a lot better groupings with this arrow with these fletches on there. But um, just like him I'm shooting the Grim Reaper 100 grain broadheads and um, just from watching people kill deer with that broadhead, they're devastating. They'll pass through almost every time. There's no rubber bands or spring loaded, so don't have to worry about the rubber band not coming out. And uh, overall, th this arrow is um, one of the best by Easton. Um, some people don't like Easton. Some people gold tip like gold, gold tip. Very yeah. popular bow brand. But um. Arrow they're just badass looking, and they even redesigned the design on the Full Metal Jackets, and they're even cooler. They got skulls and blood on it, I think, or something like that. Yeah. But uh, hopefully we'll have some real blood on this arrow soon. We're not telling you to shoot these setups or these bows, but we're just getting you information on them. Shoot whatever you want. Shoot a bear. Fuck Hoyt. Just kidding. Shoot whatever you want. Shoot an Elite, shoot PSC, whatever kills the deer. You know? Whatever kills the deer is right. Go out there and freaking. Hunt with a knife if you have to kill those fuckers. Anyway, we got some dip mail today. Ooh. Where do you think it's from? Copenhagen, motherfucker. Copenhagen sent me a box. Is there Copenhagen mint here? Probably fucking not! But anyway, let's open this son of a bitch and see what's in here. So, uh... Oh, I think I know what this is. I ain't gonna say what it is, but I think I know what it is. Because uh, if you haven't noticed that Copenhagen has come out with their camo cans, and my opinion on Copenhagen's camo can... It looks like a crayon drawing. Exactly. That's exactly what I said when I first seen that. It looks like a five-year-old colored on them with a box of green crayons. I mean, Grizzly definitely stepped up their game with their... Uh, I, don't, I won't say it's definitely Real Tree Max 5, but looks just like it. But uh, I, I just like the more realistic camel than the old, uh, I guess, army camel, as you'd say. But um, anyway, let's open the box and see what's in there. 
Oh, yeah, see, it was exactly what I thought it was. They sent me a, a Vapure um, foldable water bottle. They have these, um, if you go on Copenhagen's website, freshcope.com, you can get you one for free. I'm not sure if it's still going on. I got the, I, um, they're, they're free, so if you go on their site, it's uh, part of the Own the Hunt 360, um, whatever you want to call it, campaign or whatever. But, um, no. Yeah, they send you these um, for free, free shipping. Uh, mine arrived quite faster. They say two to six weeks, but mine arrived pretty quick. I think I ordered mine two weeks ago. It came in pretty quick. But um, it's free shit, so can't complain. Can't complain. Uh, this will be good for um, hunting for sure. It'll be uh, you can fold it up, roll it up when it's empty, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not complaining. Copenhagen giving free stuff like this out. They're, they're going to keep my business or Copenhagen. They, in my opinion, best tobacco company in the world. But, uh, Copenhagen Mint New York State, release it everywhere, please. I'm not the only one. I'm sure everybody watching this wants Copenhagen Mint. So, um, speaking of, uh, Steelhead fishing here. We got a funny ass story for you guys tonight. We got a, we went on an adventure. We went to Cataraugus Creek. It's about an hour away from us. It's one of the they say it's one of the best steelhead fishing areas uh, on the east coast and um, I, I agree with that hundred percent. We uh me and him drove an hour down there. Uh Zor Valley. Zor Valley is what it's called. No, yep. no, unless you're from our area, you won't know what it is. But anyway, we uh, fish this other creek, but at this other creek, it's it's just elbow to elbow with steelhead fishermen. So we wanted to go somewhere else. And I've been hearing a lot of good things about people catching steelhead and rainbow trout here. So we went there and um, walked down the creek. Uh, holy shit. I don't even. I don't even know. Probably two miles. Two miles at least down the creek, and you're probably like, two miles. That's nothing. But when you're walking through streams and creeks and water through rocks, it's it's pretty, pretty far. And uh, we made it there. We were fishing. We didn't catch anything. Um, and it was it was starting to get dark. And uh, made our way back. Started making our way back, and sooner. And we thought, got dark real quick. And uh, long story short, we ended up getting lost. We uh, where we parked, there's a kind of a pier that you that comes on to the creek, and um, you're supposed to go up on the side of that pier. And that's a parking area where we parked. We uh, it was so dark we we walked right past it, and. Um, <laughs> We were walking and walking, and it's it's twisty and turny on the creek. We're like, this is the last turn. We're almost there. We were walking for an hour and a half, two hours, before we're just like, you know what? We're fucking lost. We're fucked. So we um, we stopped, called uh, the police, and um, they uh, said, stay where you are. We'll come find you. So uh, the forest ranger and a police officer came and found us. We looked like a bunch of fucking retards out there. But they ended up good. finding us, uh, freezing our asses off, sitting on the side of the creek. It was 9.30 at night, pitch black. Finally found these guys, and they found us, and we, we got back. We overwalked. We were supposed to get off the creek by about a mile and a half. So, uh, yeah, you can call us dumb and dumber if you want, but uh, always know your way out. Just don't go fishing after dark, especially a place you don't know. Yeah, you know, Zor Valley is around 200 foot ravines, and now with the sun going down, uh, really early now, around seven o'clock. Um, as soon as that sun passes down those ravines, it just gets dark and dark, and everything looks exactly the same. You know, and walking, and it was kind of a scary experience knowing that we might have to spend the night there, but. Luckily, we were able to get a hold of the police and get us out of there because it was just scary at one point. Like, I was all wet and freezing. Yeah, I have my waders on, he had his box on, and uh, long story short, 
creek rose at night and uh, he had walked through the creek. It was at least 40 degrees outside and he was walking through uh, pretty much ice cold water. It was really cold. He was shivering, cuddling up next to me. Not gay. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? But anyway, no. He had to do what he had to do. We, we were freezing. We didn't know what was going on. But uh, I don't call the police for anything. You see this flag. Uh, me and him are the last people to call the police. But uh, we were pretty, pretty much had no more options. I mean, I didn't really want to spend the night there. No fire starting equipment, nothing like that. I mean, just wanted to really get out of there. So, uh, yeah, that's story time with Adam <laughs> and Hunter on Sons of Liberty Dippers channel. So, um, stay tuned, subscribe. Um, if you like our videos, like them. And uh, stay tuned because we're going to be coming out with uh, a lot more videos, especially during hunting season. Hopefully, me or him will, will kill a deer this year and uh, maybe even get it on camera. Hopefully, we'll see. But, um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll have a new video up soon. And uh, keep a dip in your lip and keep watching. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>